this week's episode of Working with Evernote. It's all about how to set up your notes app for your digital life 2.0. Hello and welcome to episode 81 of my Working with Evernote series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I have a very, very special episode for you because I'm going to show you how I have my Evernote set up which is effectively exactly how I suggest or recommend that you set up your notes app in the book that I published yesterday, Your Digital Life 2.0 and way that you can get it sorted out. Now, the thing about your notes app is it needs to grow with you and it needs to work to the way that you think and the way that you operate. So the problem I always have when I write a book about a productivity system really is the notes application because I know all of you guys out there are different. I know all of you guys out there have probably a different way of thinking about planning and organizing and capturing notes. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I recommend you set up notes. But I want you to keep in mind that as your note system grows with you, you should have the freedom to develop it how you want to do it. Now, the thing is, I've been using Evernote now for about eight or nine years. And over that time, my system has grown and changed and evolved and, and so on. And that's perfectly normal. There is nothing wrong with that. Now, my system is loosely based on a system that my good friend Enrico Nala uh, introduced probably about two years ago on Francesco D'Alesso's channel. And I have found this system is absolutely fantastic because it really revolutionized the way I use tags. Now, the way I suggest people set up their, their notes application in your Digital Life 2.0 is to actually focus, a have a limited number of notebooks and use tagging to be able to find your notes. Now, Evernote has a fantastic search engine, so you don't really have to worry too much about getting your tags absolutely active, absolutely accurate. But that said, having a setup of notes with tags really can supercharge your tagging system and your search functionality. Okay, I think I've rambled on enough already, so let's get into Evernote. But before I do that, I would just like to say, if you like this video, please click on the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, let's get into Evernote and I'll show you how to set it up, the Your Digital Life 2.0 version. Now, as I mentioned in the introduction, the the problem here with um, notes applications is I know everyone is going to be different. So what I want to show you in this particular episode is how to get one, uh, an, a notes application set up in the basic format. But I strongly want recommend that you play around with it and get something working exactly how you want it to work. So for those of you who've been following my Evernote channel for a while, I, a lot of the stuff I'm going to cover today is obviously something you've seen. But however, what I want to do is kind of cross-reference this with this is how I have my notes application set up for now. Uh, this is my current setup. I really like the way that it's working. A lot of it, as I mentioned at the beginning, is inspired by Enrico Nala's video. But also I've taken some from uh, Michael Hyatt's setup in Evernote as well. And I've been kind of playing around with it, but I've got a system now that really, really works for me and that I feel very, very comfortable working with. There is one thing that I noticed that I haven't actually done yet, but I have my incubator, which needs to be in here. And it's a very important one. So I'm going to put that up at the top. But apart from that, this is essentially how I have my Evernote set up right now. So let's start off at the beginning. So for those of you reading uh, who bought Your Digital Life 2.0, this is how I would recommend that you get your uh, notes application set up. As I mentioned in the book and I'm mentioning now, I use Evernote, but it doesn't really matter whether you use OneNote or whether you're just using Apple's note-taking application, which is a brilliant application, or even Google Keep. 
If you can set up a system like this, then you're pretty much on your way to having a fantastically workable productivity system. So as I mentioned, the number one most important in uh, notebook in Evernote that you're going to need or file is your inbox because this is where you're collecting all the items that's coming at you on a daily basis and your inbox is the most important notebook that you're going to collect because this is what you will process at the end of every week or every day if you're collecting a lot of notes. Now I've put the ampersand there, the at sign there just to keep inbox right at the top of my list so it's very easy to actually capture. It's also in my shortcuts here as well so that I can actually use that very quickly if I need to get to it. Then I have my current project stack so I all the books that I'm uh, all the things that I'm currently working on right now so again I've got my island 2017-18 uh, which is a trip I'm taking I've got three notes in there these are my uh, itineraries and various other things that I'm either waiting for or currently doing. Range Rover Villa well this is for the car that I want to buy next year so that's in there all the details regarding that. Next year's book is already started the planning process of that and your digital life 2.0 um, is almost finished actually it is finished and so this will now go into my archive but one of the things about your digital life is it's a book that I intend to update regularly every two or three years because technology is moving forward all the time so it will very quickly be out of date so every two or three years I update the book so that will probably be on my list of things to do in 2019 or 2020. Then we got up here we got my work uh, reference folder so I separate it out work and personal however that's not really strictly important you can just have one big reference notebook it really doesn't matter I just prefer to do it that way I also have my online courses stack here simply because what I want to be able to do is I will have ideas about updating these courses and so as I have the ideas I can just add them into the notes that are actually in there so that they can be improved and made better over time. Moving on to the next one is my journal. I keep all my journal entries in here so uh, I, I use a tagging system for the month but essentially I just keep my journal here which is just all the things that I've been collecting, thinking, whatever I want to do. My someday maybe, I say have a someday maybe stack simply because I, it doesn't really matter but these are the things that I might want to do in the near future or maybe in the long future but future but or anything that's particularly on hold is just stashed in here. Um, it's just the way I do it. You may prefer just to have, as I say, one notebook called Someday Maybe. I keep my archives for 2017 in here because it might be a note that I want to get, but that will actually get um, that will actually get deleted at the end of the year and then change to 2018. This notebook here uh, is one I <laughs> I actually created for. Um, a demo so I can get rid of that one and I have the trash at the bottom which you can't get rid of. So essentially I have um, seven notebooks if you like including the stacks uh, probably a lot more 21 it says I've got if you include the stacks but this is just the way I like having it set up it works brilliantly for me. I'll quickly show you my tagging system I use uh, tags like here for people uh, places what when and I have my incubator which is actually separated but it could actually be what but I have the incubator separated because it is the most important uh, one for me on a daily basis because that's the one I'm adding to which is why my incubator is in my shortcuts uh, as I mentioned in the book I actually have a free talking label here so I've got FT which stands for free talking and then I've got the various subjects here that I would use uh, for that particular uh, topics. Someday maybe again I've just got something there and these are things like holiday ideas, ideas next time in London, purchases and going out. Again the thing about this is it's really up to you and what works for you. This is not necessarily the best way or the correct way, it's not necessarily the worst way but this is a system that works for me and as I stress in the book and I'm going to stress right now you need to find a way that works for you and this is why it's so important to be reviewing your systems every two or three months. Okay, hopefully that's given you a, some idea of how to get started with setting up a notes application. For all those of you guys out there following Evernote, this is just how I have mine set up right now. It does change from year to year. This is the way I've got it working at the moment. Hopefully this has given you some idea 
about how to set up your notes application I just now have to say if you want to buy the book it is available on Amazon iBookstore or directly from my website if you don't then this video and the previous video on Todoist will show you how to set up your basic system for free okay thank you very much for watching it just remains for me to wish you all a very very productive week